All right, guys. Welcome to the video. It's Jira Bro back, and today today's topic is going to be work management again. But what we're gonna be talking about are gonna be the lists. As you already know, work management projects are more focused on the business type of people. So if there are any business people out there. Uh, Jira work management is great for you because it has a lot of features but our focus today is going to be on lists as you can see within a list itself it kind of reminds you on you know having columns within the database right so in order to create your item here so first of all as you can see you have a task within a list. Now I can go ahead and I can manage the types in here. I can go and I can change if I want. I can edit the issue type and I can go ahead and say look I want to have a story here as well. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to my list I'm gonna click on create now I have a story and a task now, of course this is if I want to want to have this but since I'm gonna be mostly focused on the task when it comes to business I want to get things done so first of all I want to say here create uh, an annual finance report for example and I click I'm gonna hit enter and basically this is what I see automatically I have the column of status in here showing so I can see what is going on now I can move this to done right away if I want there are no categories in here I can actually add a category in here and I can call it finance and I can even color it and let's say let's make it um, let's make it yellow right also you have the assignees currently so I can assign myself to this and there is also the due date that I can actually click on and I can say yeah you know you have a week to, for for this priority I can say you know what this is gonna be a high priority there are also labels that I can add I can see when it was created when it was updated who was the reporter now what I can do here say I want to first see who reported this issue right who actually made this task so I see the summary here I can see who is the reporter and I want to see the assignee by it so you can drag and drop uh, these columns here you can arrange it in any way you want you cannot arrange these you cannot arrange the type and key all right you cannot do that so from summary you can arrange the place of your columns right so I am interested like in when it's made I'm also interested when the due date is what is the category what priority actually this is this might be even here for example so I can change these things if I want to now I can group by the assignee by the priority by the status or by the uh, category I only have one issue in here so what actually happens is let's say you have multiple people in here right all right so let me let me do it like this if I create and say um, 
hire a hire a new accountant for example I'm gonna create it now for the assignee it's gonna be this one and now I want to group by what happens all right let me see let me just refresh it in here yeah there we go so I now have the grouped the grouped assignees so I can see and I can say okay this person has these these tasks this person has these tasks what else I can do I can go with the priority as well and I can say okay where are my high where are my high issues in here okay where are my medium ones in here all right so I can do that as well I can go with a status and I can say well this is the status everything is in to do right now nothing is in done with a category as well and now I see okay these are my uh, finance tasks that I need to do uh, these are my business tasks that I need to do these are my time time tracking things that I need to do and so on and so forth so that is the group by category in here all right what else I can do I can choose the filters now the question would be well can you actually really use your filters in here and the answer is no you cannot only these filters that are actually defined here within the Jira work management and I really think that these ones are enough right so then you have like assigned to me do this week done items you have plenty of them right so you can go for the reporter you can go for the status basically everything and you and uh, you can also filter by the custom fields and in here it says there are no custom fields that you can filter by which is fine because we don't have any custom fields added uh, added to this project at all which is okay now what we can actually do we can expand all of the items right so they're not there's nothing really to expand here uh, yeah you can group you can also share you can share them in Slack or you can actually share names or teams. Now someone would ask, well, can you actually do the external share? Not really, because this is most mostly focused on your share list, right? so you can embed this smart link in other Atlassian products such as Confluence right so you can do that so if I copy this link right and if I go to my incognito right here and if I copy this so nothing happens you would need to actually log in you need to actually be added to the project etc so not much that you can do right but what you can do with columns you see this plus sign right here I can click on create and I can say well what do I have here let's say I have to create some kind of a annual report or something which is actually fine and I want users to find that annual report within the project so if I want to go with confluence pages I can certainly go I can add a page and I can say let me take this one for example right so this is the thing that I want to add so what else I can actually add here you can actually add comments original estimates or even the start date 
yeah, if you want, you want to add the start date and say, well, this issue has started to be worked on on this day. So even if it's in to do status, you can say, well, now it's in progress. And now I want this to be the start date. As you can see right here, when I go with statuses, you know, it only gives me one possible status which is done and now the question is well why is this if I go to the project settings right here and if I go to the workflows all right this is the um, this is why because there are only two statuses within this um, task management workflow right because I have chosen this template and based on temp te this chosen template workflows can be different and mostly they are different so these were the lists within the work management all right I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did just and don't forget to like share and subscribe to the video almost like two subscribers until hitting the 200 so that is going to be the next milestone see you guys in the next video bye bye